Hello, the internet Saffron here, back in the Spirit Fairer. And, uh, we did that stuff with Summer last episode, and now she hasn't left her room. Aha! Where is Summer? Have you seen Summer today? I think she didn't get up this morning. That's odd, she's usually up at first light. Mm -hmm. Something seems wrong with her house. Maybe Albert the Shipwright could help us. Aha! Yeah, I'm, I was just thinking, I'm like, huh, she hasn't left her room in a couple days. So I guess we're going to Albert. But yeah, in the meantime, I was just kind of sailing around going to destinations that I hadn't been to yet. Honestly, you haven't missed much. <laughs> I opened up some of the map. I made it to the two lighthouses, which really didn't do a whole lot. Um, so we're going to go all the way back to Albert's. Um, do I want to make any detours? Maybe I'll just go to the bus stop. Where is the nearest bus stop? Well, there's one right here. I think that's what we'll do. And Alex can take us back to Albert, and then we'll see what's going on. Yep, oh, there we go. All right, Alex, I need a ride. All the way here. I suppose I should vis visit uh, the turtles again, too, because they have stuff for me. <laughs> Excellent. Take care of the crops quick. And <laughs> oh wait. Oh, uh, we gotta actually go to Albert's. There we go. <laughs> yeah, his music was just going right along with uh, Gustav's violin. They fit together so perfectly. I had to check my second orchard also. So many things now. There we go, Butimus. Okay, does that sheep need to be fed? Is that why it's a naked sheep? Oh yeah, he needs food. Uh, carrots, we have tons of carrots. Yeah, I really don't need any more sheep than that. I already have a ton of wool. Maybe eventually it's going to get to the point where I have to collect them all, but eh. Alright. What is it? Oh, if I don't know that face. It's about that house, the green and brown one, right? Have some sort of problem with it, don't you? Yeah, I can see it from a mile away. Listen, I know my job. Me and the boys are real professionals. It's not often that we criticize another worker's craftsmanship, but that house, oh wow. Had to be the worst job I've ever seen. <laughs> So consider this a lesson. Don't just trust any old amateur. Always go to a professional. So tell me what complaints does your passenger have? What? She's sleeping? Oh, of course. That bald head of hers is very sensitive to temperature changes. Imagine how cold she must be. Not to mentioning not mentioning her dried, scaly skin. No, no, she needs a temperature and humidity control system. Luckily, that place was so shoddily designed that there's ample cracks for wiring electronics. So yeah, there you go. Some plans and schematics for a nice all-in-one Havoc system. Pro quality. Call it a courtesy, after all. How can you repay your debt if your boat falls to pieces? Haha. <laughs> well, great. New improvement acquired Havoc system. Okay, anything else? I don't think I can do anything else yet. Oh, I could do that. No, I can't. I don't have enough monies. Yeah, but then this. Yeah, I need aluminum and a fire glow. I don't know where to get fire glow, and I don't have another spirit flower, because there's only one way to get spirit flower. So, yeah. Okay, then. Uh, they, were talking, they were thinking outside the box site. Uh, it's funny. It's funny. Okay, so now summer should be all good. Is that just... Do I just have that? Do I have to improve? 
I have to build it. Mm -hmm. I could build a zip line, but I don't even care about a zip line. I don't need it. Aluminium! Okay, well, let's get some sleep and see what happens in the morning then. Hopefully summer will be all better. Okay, I thought we were going to be starting this episode on a sad note. It's not so bad. Okay, yep. Let's go. Say wakey wakey eggs and bacon. I can actually make eggs and bacon now. I have the recipe. I just don't have eggs. Alright, so where do we gotta go? Hold on. Let's look. Um, nope, nope. Uh, yeah, I know we have to improve indiscreet shopping, the search for Eric Deskman, but I don't- I need the rock. Okay. Improve- oh, I have to improve her sanctuary. So improve... Copper! I don't have copper. I don't even know where to get copper. So let's get her Havoc system. Where did we stop? <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay, yep. I'll get to you in a second here, Giovanni. Hold on. There. Fully improved summer. Yeah, I didn't get that with Alice. <laughs> Alright, let's go shopping. Hopefully the shop still has, still has that chocolate box we're looking for. Alright, let's go. Alright. Go, go take a look. They should have it here. Get the nicest chocolate box you see. Not the cheap stuff. Aha! Let's see, what else you got? Orchard seed sampler pack. Limestone, some copper ore, some maple log. Okay. Alright! I knew I could count on you. You're terrific, Bambina, you know that. Marvelous, exceptional, and admirable. We don't deserve you. No, no one does. Okay, let's pack up, guys. We don't deserve Stella one bit. You wonderful little peanut. All right, now give it to me, please. Oh, and apparently you need to be fed, too. Thank you. Yes, she'll love this so much. I'll hold on to it. Let's head back to the boat, Bambina. Hmm. Oh, uh, then, then just these guys. Yeah, I wonder. Oh, that's Summer. She's probably feeling better. Oh, Stella. I think I might have overslept a bit. How long have I been sleeping? What? That much? Hibernating, you say? Well, I guess it was bound to happen. I might have been ignoring what my body was trying to tell me. A bad habit of mine. Thank you, Stella, for taking such good care of me. You you're welcome. Are you mad at me? Oh, never mind. Yes, I was just thinking he probably wants some food. Okay, anyway. <laughs> And he eats spaghetti. <laughs> and I get it, they can't have different animations for every every bit of food, but it's just kind of funny. Okay. Um, so where let's see here. Let's we have shenanigans. Household items, talk to Ingrid. Uh here, let's go to that coordinates. Negative fifty-eight and negative fifty-two. Let's see. So we're actually not too far. Okay, I was mistaken. 
negative, negative, negative 58, negative 52, didn't they say, right? Let's try on safe travel mode. Okay, that's where we're headed. I probably could have taken a bus and then, but you know, whatever. It's fine. We just, oh. All right, fine. He's gone. I don't care. <sighs> I have a ton of sunflowers. Man, when it gets to the point when I actually can make a crusher. I'm gonna be set. But yeah, it's just finding aluminum. I just have not found the aluminum that I need and I don't know where to get it. Or ash. I don't know where to get ash planks. Sink like a composite? I don't know. What did you- okay, here we go. Um, I will get to you in a G second, Giovanni. I'm gonna go talk to Summer. Stella, I- I wanted the dreams. Stella, they're back. So much stronger than I ever thought they could be. These visions, I see them now even as I am awake. The breeze have turned into wafts of ethyl-scented smoke. The rotten fruit formed into the eye of the dragon. Virtuous and sickly. And a coil of arduous rust. Another dragon has awoken. He scares me, but suffering cannot be allowed. You would agree, I'm certain. Let's go help it, shall we? The metastatic coil. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go see now with Giovanni. What did you do with that chocolate, Giovanni? Mm -hmm. Peanut, look at these jewels. For you, Bambina. No, 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 no. No need to explain how. Shh. Mm -hmm. Just take them. It's a gift. Okay. Don't be mad at me, Munchkin, but I did some fishing while you weren't looking. Holy crap! No, I'm definitely not mad at you. Way to go! <laughs> Thanks, Astrid! Saves me some trouble! Oh, well, I can't talk to him. Alright, well, let's grab some crops. Glass mouth. I should do that too. I should um I should make some glass whilst we are just traveling. Um okay, so we did that. <laughs> we still need to get Yeah, we can't do that. We can't do that. Oh, we gotta meet Aluminum Dragon. Aha! I wasn't actually trying to fall out of the water, but okay. Oh, Giovanni. Peanut, I was thinking, and you know what? Just a chocolate box is nearly not enough for a lady of this caliber. But I know exactly what could complement this gift. A nice bouquet of flowers. Vibrant, luscious roses. I know just where to pick some. Ambertown Park. Don't worry, I'll show you once we're there. It's a great idea, eh? It's definitely a great idea. And again, not a word. She'll be completely surprised. Okay, well, we'll get the alum aluminium dragon. Let's see. Let's zoom out. Where is an aluminium dragon? Okay, there's the quartz. There's a quartz. Oh, the aluminium is way up here. Okay, and... He wanted to go where? Ambertown. Is that on my map? I can't get to there yet. Are you 
Tsushima. How come that's, it sounds familiar? Oh, what is that? Furugawa. Gurren Fields. That's the Alt Harbor. Moiston. Hummingbird. Brackenshire. Vila. Calston Mines. That appear there. Lohenberg. Nordweiler. Okay, well, whatever. We're going to the dragon then. Actually, let's make a pit stop here. I don't know what this is yet. <gasps> Fire glow! That's what I get for, like, not doing things. <laughs> I just been kind of plowing through with the storyline. I don't do things. Hey, look at that! Yay, bacon and eggs and num nums. Oh, the mackerel is new. Well, here, let's do this. We'll cook some mushroom salad or whatever that's going to turn out to be. Talk to you in a second, summer dear. Peanuts. If I told you that after the war I opened a tavern, working in sales wasn't my thing, and Astrid's mother said she wanted to help us, so I told myself, hey, sure, why not? It was a reputable establishment, something fancy. Not a drinking hole where people come to forget their lousy lives. So one day a client comes in, disheveled, obviously distraught, looking over his shoulders if the dogs of Inferno were after him. He runs to the bar, grabs me by the collar, tells me to panic. Twelve shots of your finest liquor. For before I even have time to come back with the bill, he's almost through half of them. So I ask him, brother, what's going on with you? Why are you drinking so fast? Okay, well, dang it. I always gotta miss these stories, cause things. It's just bad timing. All right, what it, oh. What is that? Do you hear that, Stella? Is that music? And organ? Strings? How incredibly stirring. How dark and mysterious. Oh, what beauty. Stella, would you mind letting the music in? It would mean so much to me. Yes, apparently this is the firefly thing. Let the notes flow through you, Stella. Let the music straight straight to your heart. Um, okay. Ah, here we go. Yeah, it's just like the jellyfish. Except it's fireflies. That's a lot of fireflies. Oh, oh, here we go. Those are the ones I need. Nice. Fire glow seeds. Wait, no. What? I gotta plant those? That's not what I was expecting at all. They're a little quicker than the jellyfish. Ooh, we got a whole bunch of them now. Guess I'm gonna have to figure out what to do to plant those. Aw, oh, he's below this. Dang it. Below the ships. Can't reach it. Then I just get limbs. to our destination. Ding ding, everybody gets up. All right, I'm chop this down. Yeah. Plant some corn. Oh, 
here we go. Maybe we plant the glim seeds in here. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Good morning, Summer. Yep. They're in here. Okay, my dear, you have to move. Um, you- oh, thank you. There we go. <laughs> now we can make some progress. Progress has been made. There. Well, it's fine. Ooh, do I finally get cherries and pears? Oh, here's our aluminium dragon. All right, Summer. What do we gotta do? Oh, this. Something smells different, don't you think? Oh, as I thought. Just, just help it, Stella. Yes, yes, that's the whole objective. It's the main reason why we came out this fur. Yeah, so it's just like the quartz dragon. Oh, oh. Except his, uh... Aha! Oh, I don't like that. Suppose I can't imagine, you know, it should be easier. Finally, aluminium. Oh, hello. Woo! Okay, there we go. Back on his head. Nice. Now we can finally make aluminium. We need for like everything. Um, there we go. And then I need ashwood too. I'm not sure where to find that yet. Oh, hello. Come on. Plus side, it looks like we'll get quite the supply to start with. Whoop. Oh, okay. Come on. Okay, and we head back. Oh, I did oh, wait, what happened? Crap. I didn't think I made the jump, but then I made the jump. Okay, yup. Where are ya? There, nice. Incredible. It looks relieved, doesn't it? I wonder what it means. If we were ever to cross this dragon's path again, I think we should help it. However I might feel about it. Yes. I don't dig that that's how you get aluminum, but I guess it is. Stella, the dragon. I thought it was getting tamer. It seemed like we finally learned to coexist. To manage, at least. But it's really getting stronger, isn't it? Well, you know what it means as well as I do. It's time for me to go. Please, when you can, bring me to the Everdor. I'll be fine. Aha. Okay. Alright, well then, I think... Where is the Everdor? Where is the nearest bus? 
I don't know which is worse, going to the bus or going all the way to the Everdoor. I think that's what we'll, how we'll end the episode, is we'll take Summer to the Everdoor. Alright, here we are. Oh, I gotta talk to her. Are you ready to go? Yes, thank you. I mean, I'm not really ready to go, but it's time. Only those two to see her off, huh? Oh, here come the others. And they sh okay. <laughs> really thought I could keep up with it this time. The dragon. I was certain it was calming down. I could feel it purring, the warmth of it in my chest. I guess I just did it all over again, just like my father. The dragon is a beast. Indomitable, if I recall my own words correctly. Whether you choose to care for it, or to bait it down, or, oh, what would Rose think of me? Would she be proud? Would she be ashamed? I can't help but wonder what she would have done in my stead. But I know. I know what she would have told me. She would have looked me straight in the eye. Her gaze would have pierced through the veil of my appearance. She wouldn't have said a word. She knew from the beginning she knew the dragon would take me away. She knew I would have tried to love it and not hate it. Would she have judged me for my failure? I couldn't love it, Stella. I just couldn't. As much as I hate it, it is a part of me now. It will be, forever. If I want to live gracefully, I must accept it for what it is now. looking forward to so many more lessons with you. You've been such a gifted student, Stella. I am so proud of you. So proud of your heart. So proud of your blossoming soul. I'm sorry to leave you. You'll have to learn by yourself. I have no doubt that you'll pull through. The only lesson I have left is to show you what, I, what you were made of. Of ephemeral starlight. We're but a few particles of thought in the vast stream of consciousness. This is the last thing I can teach you, Stella. That all things change, that all things end. I'm so proud of you, Stella. And I know Rose would be too. Thank you for everything. Hmm.
one last thing. Spirit flower. The daisy. Right, so then, yeah, I guess then that'll be a good place to end the episode. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, ring that bell, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all later.